that. What do you guys think? Well, we're gonna put, well, you probably saw it in the title of the video. We're gonna put our anti roll in, or we're gonna start on it, or we're gonna do something. Honestly, I don't really feel like doing that because I just, job sucks, honestly. It's even worse than a coupe. Um, the hatch was fine, but the coupe, we don't got a lot of room in there, so. We put it in though. So, uh, anyway, let me get the tools and the drill and the stuff and let's get to work on it. So, um, yeah. And then maybe we'll reward ourselves with a test drive. Be cool. Now, this is what a good time looks like. Got uh, one side bolted in, starting on the other side, then we'll drill the bushing holes and get the bushing in and then we'll just be having ourselves a good old time. <laughs> uh, is it lunchtime yet? Because I'm ready for it. All right, pretty much all done. Um, we've just got to finish tighten, finish tighten the bushings in. We just kind of got it all kind of mocked up. So anyway, it's uh, good enough for our work. So um, anyway, <laughs> be better than nothing. I just got everything just kind of loosely set up in there, so. <sighs> Glad that's over with. It's lunchtime now. All right, got everything tightened up. Before everyone has like a total conniption about it not being perfectly aligned or whatever, it's not like we're smacking this thing with freaking 1500 horsepower or 800 horsepower. Even it's this is like a low 300 horsepower car, if that, and it's light. So don't freak out. All it's got to do is keep the car level. Okay, and these are way beefier than what I run on like the fail TD and stuff. So it's just got to work. All it's got to do is do its job. And that's rotate back and forth. Or I'll say back. It's got to rotate up and down. Sorry. That's all it's got to do. Now, I'm, this is just me pulling the car down. So we're good satisfied with it so now i'm going to pull the uh in links out and you know i've driven around with a sway bar hooked up but i generally make it a practice to not do that so as you'll notice at the track if you notice or whatever i i put the in links in every time change tires put the in links in if i've got an anti roll car so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take in links out and uh you know, carry them with us. We're not gonna drive with any roll. That's what I'm getting at. So we're gonna swap to the test slicks and then we're just gonna go around the industrial park for a few minutes and just kind of scoot around, just have a little bit of a good time, see how things go.
of the street. Dr. Fear cannot be beat. Good job, kid. <laughs> Just keep practicing. <laughs> our cosmetic we had this front we got this whenever we bought the trojan horse it just came with the car it came with a front uh like partisan fenders and end cap and it came with this spoiler front air dam thing and it's been laying in the facility for you know since i got the car i just threw it in there and i said you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> bolt it on mcnugget see how it looks i like it it looks okay and uh, yeah, we cut. I don't want to put holes. I don't like when people, that's just a personal thing. I don't like it when people drill big round holes. I think the holes look weird. Just like I don't like the round fog lights on GTs, on aero cars. I think they look weird. They should have square ones. So I cut a square hole to help us get some airflow to our little radiator and you know, love it, hate it. I, it, it didn't bother me, but if you don't like it, well, eh, it's not your car. <laughs> so anyway, let's wrap this vid up. It's disappointing. Sorry for the wind noise, if there is any. Um, well, <sighs> that's disappointing. So, we are not going to the track tomorrow for TNT. There's just, we don't have Trojan fixed. And obviously this thing, there's no reason to take it if the collector's pedal is gonna hang on the floor. Why? Oh my God, it's the clutch. Stop, just stop it. Just stop it. You keep saying that, and I'm going to keep saying this. You suck! <laughs> this is not, you know, I'm not going to go up there and shift it at six grand or something like that. No thanks. I'll just take a hard pass on that. So, I guess now we're going to take it home and, uh, you know, start getting ready to pull the, we're gonna pull the transmission and stuff out. And uh, we're probably just going to put, I've got a uh, King Cobra. Um, I think uh, maybe I don't I'm just going to put a different pressure plate in it because this one obviously doesn't work um, and we'll see we'll see where that gets us so we can try and make TNT the next Sunday so that's part of racing or whatever <laughs> cars just you know if it wouldn't have been for that we would have went but it is what it is so anyway um <clears throat> That's a, uh... <sighs> damn it, man. I swear, I pull more rear ends and transmissions than you can shake a stick at, but oh well. It's good, builds character, I guess. Uh, so anyway, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for uh, all the ways you guys support the channel. We certainly appreciate it. Couldn't do it <clears throat> without you. Wouldn't really want to, I don't think. Um, especially... Thanks for watching.
And until next time, a substandard leader in Fox Body videos on this here man's YouTube. One year only link is for drag bands. And as always, fighting the good fight against Dr. Fear. I mean, do those really count? I don't know. We'll see you guys in the next video, which pretty sure we know what it's going to be.